Hello everyone, I'm back today to teach you an effect. I am not sure what this effect is called, so I'm just going to call it the transitioning uh, freeze frame. And this is what it looks like. It's just a very simple like intro freeze frame to like a clip that you want to edit. Alright, let's get started. What you're gonna do is open the raw file of you doing the trick or whatever you want and go to the exact first frame then click command shift 4 and make a big screenshot of the first frame just like that. Okay, now open that photo up in Photoshop right here and first thing first let's highlight your person with the little dotted brush tool just highlight your person very simply Let's zoom in a little bit right about there Okay, and then go to image, image size, get these dimensions, and then make a new file. Click and drag it out, and then click the highlighted guy, drag him over here. And then go and save that as a PNG file. I already have it saved, so I'm not going to, but save it as a PNG file wherever you want. Exit out of that. And then go back to your original picture and highlight some type of object that you could rotate in. For this, I'm going to highlight the ground because it is very simple and I don't know, it just looks best, I think. So unhighlight this guy. And let's highlight the ground. That one also is very simple. Now, same thing, go File New, create a new thing, drag it out, click and drag this into this file, frame it up so that it fits and then once again save it as a PNG file to wherever you need now go into After Effects and open up your original file just you doing the trick or whatever it is and drag it out say about two seconds now first thing we're gonna put in is the person now, as you'll see, the person is not framed correctly, and he is very small. This may happen for you, this may not. So what you're going to have to do is drag him to size and put him in place. Just like that. Now, click and drag the file so that the image stops right when the video starts. So it's him here. Right when the video starts, he disappears and the actual line goes. Now do that the same thing for the other picture, the ground. Let's go right to there. Drag it to where it will fit. that seems good same thing drag the picture back so it stops right when the video starts so it's that then boom video starts it disappears now take your original screenshot and put it in but put it under the uh, other two screenshots so they don't overlap and then once again match it up correctly 
this to help me out. That's good. And then same exact thing, drag it back so it disappears right when the video starts. So there you got your three screenshots. Boom, the video starts. Now, let's get into the more complex stuff. First, go into your original one, the U. No, it's the ground. Go into your highlighted person or whatever. Now, click the 3D layered button and go to the end of the picture and click the let's go with the X orientation with the keyframe now drag it back a small amount of a second and then just rotate it to where it disappears oh, let's make these two invisible so I can see. Yep, that is disappeared. And then that'll set a keyframe and boom, the guy rotates in just like that. Now, take all of these clips and drag them forward a bit so that this video I'll have this guy start out like that. So, the beginning starts out he pops up and then right about here is where the ground should match up. So drag that to there. And now, same like the other person, go to the 3D transformation. Um, and this time let's do a Y rotation. We'll go to the end of the picture. Actually, no. Right about here is good and go, let's go with a Y rotation make this guy invisible and drag it back a couple frames and then rotate it to where you can't see it oh, good. right about there alright so now both of them it looks like that guy pops up and then this rides in Okay. Let me just drag that out. Now let's go with the final one, the actual background. Let's make this visible once again. And do the same thing 3D, uh, XY, rotation, whatever you want. Let's do X for this one. Drag it back a couple frames, rotate it right to there it's invisible yada yada it all works out okay just like that now let's minimize all these and now we need to match them up correctly so this guy starts right there right when he stops you'll want the other one to pull in and right when that one goes Drag it back right there. So he pops up, he rotates, and then this guy just get them calculated nicely. Pops up, pops up, pops up. And then right when it hits you're gonna drag all the things to that exact line and then match the video up with that line also so right when all those end this video begins so it looks like this boom just like that and that is how you get this effect now if you want to add more detail to it see what I did is I just went in I clicked all these layers and I just went to effect and I did a little color correction this one I turned black and white just because it's like different and I don't know I think black and white looks better so that like you could actually see the transition pretty well 
So let me play it. It's black and white person, black and white floor, black and white screen, and then everything changes to color. And then, boom, I do the line. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and check out my other videos.